can't see a freaking thing. It's so dark. <clears throat> oh! No, 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 no. No! <laughs> oh man, nothing is nothing's ever easy, you guys. Nothing's ever easy. Welcome back everybody to Seven Dates to Die on Alpha 18. I'm an old guy gaming. We are playing this game on the hardest settings. It is set to insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed all the time, day and night. And uh, it's hard as hell and scary as hell and fun as hell. Okay, so let's get moving here. Uh, we wanted to go ahead and base up on the power station, which I think is right here. Back over that way. So let's get moving. And uh, we've got to let's see how many repair kits do I have. I got seven repair kits. Okay, good. Because uh, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to bust out some concrete stairs to secure that place. And I want to make sure, you know, I have plenty of repair kits. Uh, because we'll probably go through, you know, two or three durabilities of the axe to get that done. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Don't want to get Nurse Nancy's attention. She is fast. Fast and nasty. Nasty, nasty. In fact, let's get some uh, stones on our toolbar here. So we can... Since zombies running the other way, if, if and when we need to. If you didn't watch the last episode, or actually I think it was the episode before that, I'm doing the, I'm recording these back to back, so they all seem kind of like the same episode to me. Um, we took uh, our next point. We are now level four, and we put that in the in level two of hide from the shadows. And uh, ooh, is that a safe? That is a safe up there. Okay, lots of stuff to loot, you guys. Lots of stuff to loot. Um, what about this building? What's the hit points on this? That's 2,500 hit points. That's pretty stout. I'm just not sure what it would take to secure it. You know what? I think all we would have to do is just... I think there's stairs behind there. We'd have to bust those stairs out. Uh, so the question is, is there any other way they could get up to us? There's a safe right there. Yeah, you know what? Let's not. Because I, I, know, I know for sure on this building, because I've used it before, that there's only one way they can get to us. Shit. Let's go around this way. So let's just go with what we know because I don't want any surprises here. That building might be just fine, but I don't know it well enough uh, to know if it would do the job for us. Hey, maybe we'll luck out and Horde Knight will, the Horde will come from that direction and they'll blow themselves up on the landmine. Wouldn't that be awesome? That'd be fine with me. All right. I wonder if we're going to have sleepers in here. Let's not... Let's not bust anything down, so we have a little bit of a barricade there. What? Oh, yeah, that is a stupid uh, plate block there. Don't want to have to fight off sleepers here. So we're going to actually go... Uh, let's go here. We're not going to, like, bump into anything and fall off like we did last time, are we? Hopefully there's no sleepers up on this roof. Or vultures, for that matter. sleepers down below but nobody up here okay so 
Now, I guess the next question is, is can we get this secured without the sleeps coming up here? You know what I should have done is I should have gotten some more wood. <laughs> okay, well, um, let's get our axe here. We gotta break this out. It's 1,500 hours, you guys. We do not have a lot of time. So let's see. Um, let's take these and we're going to block this off. So if we get any uh, sleepers coming up, they can't get to us. Well, until they break through it, of course. And that, you know, that's not going to hold off the horde, but it'll it'll give us enough time to get these stairs here bro broken out. All right. How much cobble do I still have? 21. That's not very much, is it? Well, it will have to do. It will have to do. Okay, here we go. <laughs> this is going to take a million years. Well, no, it won't take a million years. It'll just, it'll take a little while. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to just bust out these blocks, and uh, when I get them busted out, I will bring you back, and we'll go from there. Okay, so I'll be back in just a bit. In just a bit. Okay, guys, we are back, and we just finished breaking those out. Whoa. All right. Um, okay, so what we're going to do for here is, um, you know, the Zeeks will probably break through those cobblestones and they'll stand there, but they're not going to be able to, to really get up here. <clears throat> they could maybe, you know, break some of these blocks out, but uh, more than likely what will happen is they'll, they'll just fall right back down through that slot as they try and jump up to here. And what we'll do, too, to further kind of reinforce that is we're gonna put um, we're gonna put uh, uh, I guess we're gonna probably have to remove that door unless yeah we better we better take the door out yeah so um, my computer did a Windows update yesterday and uh, about I don't know maybe half the time that happens uh, Windows update just jacks up my sound settings and all kinds of crap and uh yeah we might as well just seal that completely and um and one of the things that sometimes it does is that it screws up my webcam and i didn't even notice it until uh, i was off camera there doing my thing okay we're gonna open this up so we can kind of look down in there and see what the hell's going on but they can't get to us from up here spiders you know spiders might be able to but what we can do with that is we can just put some frames across here to stop them from getting up here and hmm you know what though if we're gonna do that we probably want to keep them up fairly high no oh, I guess I can't get up there can I okay well we could still maybe shoot you know, shoot down through here. And, and we'll just kind of see how that goes. I think what we'll do is we'll just enclose this in here. Kind of give us like a little place to shelter uh, from any buzzers that might come by. I don't think they'll I don't think they'll attack the wood blocks. I'm pretty sure they won't. And I don't think they would try and come in here. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe they would. Maybe they would.
Uh, don't unload my bow, you stupid game. Really? How in the hell am I missing? He's like so squirrely. Oh, there's two of them now. <laughs> I can't like get a shot off on him. There we go. Uh, this is not actually a good situation. Let's get back up. Whoa. Probably gonna break my blocks out. Uh, what time is it? Oh shit! No, no, no! Oh, no way! I was... I thought I was up on the ledge! Oh, I can't believe that. I thought I had stepped back on the ledge, but I wasn't. I was on the... When is it ever good, though? Oh, shit. Shit, shit, and double and triple shit. Oh, no. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. No, actually, I can't believe it. This kind of stuff happens to me all the time. Oh, man. Okay. Um, Let's, gra <laughs> let's grab that. We might need it. Uh, do we have a broken leg? We don't have a broken leg. Okay, well, that's good. I thought I heard my leg bre break again when we fell. Um, Let's grab a couple of those. Let's grab that. Hopefully we don't get food poisoning. I mean, at this point, does it even matter? I don't have any shotgun shells, so there's no point in bringing that stuff. Um, How do we get down from here, though, actually? <laughs> That's the other problem. That is the other problem. Let's just see if we can do this. Well, hopefully we can get back there and those guys have despawned. And then we'll just pick up our stuff and get and just jump back on the roof and hopefully we'll be okay. Zombies all over. It should have stayed attached to you know the block that it was on. I don't know, man. That was some Bad, shitty bad luck. Okay, I gotta quit pissing and moaning and pay attention here. So we don't die again. It's freaking seeks all over the place. I don't have any rocks either to throw. <laughs> I'm I'm whispering to you guys as if that actually matters. Okay, let's hope those two construction assholes despawned. Oh. oh shit, that scared me. <laughs> My game sound is louder to me than it's gonna be in the recording, so that was like really loud. <laughs> oh man, okay. I don't see our buddies around. I can't believe that didn't break our leg either. I'm not complaining, I'm just just saying. Where's our backpack? Is it down here or up there? Can't tell. It should be down here because we fell down. Uh, all right, I'm going to risk this because I can't see where my backpack is. <clears throat> is it up there? How in the hell are we going to get up there then? Because we made sure that we couldn't get up there. Oh, man, are you kidding me? Really? Nothing's ever freaking easy, man. I'll tell you what. How much time we got? It's 20.06. We gotta find. We've gotta find. Um, we gotta get some wood and some stones real quick. <clears throat> I 
and make some frames so we can get up on the damn roof. I mean, it's got to be. Where else, where else would it be? But I died on the ground, though. Oh, no. You know what? It's around the corner, right? Because I was running from that guy. Forgot about that. Okay. Yeah, we got to go one out here. It should be right over here because this is where he killed me, right? There it is. Let's make sure we're attached to the building. Okay, we can't see a freaking thing. It's so dark. <clears throat> oh! No, 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 no! No! <laughs> oh man, nothing is. Nothing's ever easy, you guys. Nothing's ever easy. You take your. Ay, yeah, 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 and get the hell away from me. Oh shit! This is not good. <laughs> this is not good. Oh no, 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 no. Run away. Alright, we are. I think we are royally hosed. I, <laughs> I think we are so hosed right now. Oh! I was trying to get, trying to get over there. Ah, shit, shit, shit. What do I do? I don't know what to do. Um, here. No, it won't let me put a block down there. I can't see what the hell I'm doing. Okay, we're gonna hit the ledge. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <sighs> that was nuts. That was just insane. You guys. <laughs> I can't believe we made it back up here. Oh no. That was just bad. Okay. We made. <laughs> oh, that was just crazy, you guys. Crazy. See, now, what I was saying earlier was, this is where I thought I was standing on here. I thought I'd stepped far enough back. But like I said, I'm going to watch the video. Because obviously I wasn't. Obviously I wasn't. But that's what I thought I had, you know. Because, I mean, I've been playing this game long enough to know you don't stand on a stack of wooden blocks when there's zombies underneath it. And I knew that they'd collapse it. But I just, apparently I just hadn't stepped back far enough. Oh my god, I can't believe we made it up here. We are so freaking lucky. <laughs> we are so lucky. Okay. Well, it's time, you guys. Or just about damn time, anyway. Put the water in there. I, just, I, I don't want to be encumbered. Yeah, put that in there, too. Okay, here we go. Horde Night 7. Horde Night 7. Is that part of the horde there? This guy's playing jumping, jumping Jack Flash over there. Probably. Wow, he jumped like all the way up there. He probably jumped on off of one of his buddy's shoulders. There's a nurse zombie down there. It's too bad they didn't come from that direction, huh? <clears throat> then they can just blow their blow themselves up. And clear the landmines for us for to loot that place later. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is gonna be a unless we get vultures coming in. This is pretty much gonna be a passive defense because I just don't have the ammo uh, or the you know really the setup to try and attack these guys. That was a little janky block placement that we did there. <laughs> I couldn't see though. I mean, and I, I I was gonna try and you know move up on the car there, but I couldn't. Uh, it wouldn't let me place it on the car. All right, they're tearing the shit out of stuff down there. We'll see how this little building holds up. And uh, if it holds up pretty well, which I think it will for a horde, a seven-day horde. Oh, um, we might try and fortify it a little more and use it on, you know, 14, 
and maybe even 21. We'll have to see. I do need to keep my eyes peeled for buzzards, though. This buzzard could come in and wreck us pretty good. Um... One thing we could maybe do is try and punch a hole in the ceiling and then put a frame in it so we can kind of just see what's going on down there. Maybe we'll do that. Okay, so let's put a, a frame in there. There we go. Now we can kind of look down in there. We've got Edgar's. They must be jumping up and tagging the ceiling because I don't think I did that. Do we have any cobble left? We don't. Okay. Yeah, they, they might be standing up like on that equipment and then hitting the ceiling blocks here. Possibly. Uh, what are my game stages too, by the way? I am game stage 10. That's pretty low. <laughs> I mean, we've had three deaths now, right? Yeah, three deaths. I'm not, uh, not really all that far advanced. I'm only level four, so... But I mean, that's scary enough. I mean, these zombies, if you guys... As you guys have seen, I mean, they're just downright scary on just a normal day with how fast they can go and on the, you know, insane settings. So even a small horde is still scary as hell. Particularly because we don't really have the means to, to combat them right now. You know, so this is definitely a passive defense for sure. All right, what's going on down here? Probably would be better not to drag them over to that direction. Let's just kind of keep them over here. Because they're not really doing any damage to speak of. I mean, they looks like they've tagged the ceiling once or twice, but I'm not worried about that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's <laughs> that little bastard that, that makes that noise was the guy that was chasing me when I was running around. Yeah, they're like, hey, check it out with my head cut off. I was like, I thought for sure they were going to kill me again. I did not expect to make it back up here. But we did. We did. Okay, what time is it? It's 23. It's not even midnight yet. Jeez Louise. And, you know, we're not killing these guys either. Which, you know, aside from the fact that we're not killing them, um, we, it means we pretty much have to put up with them for the entire night because there's nothing to kill them, so they're not going to go away. And, of course, we have the challenge of getting away from them in the morning when they're still running but we'll worry about that in the morning <laughs> we'll worry about that in the morning all right guys well you know i guess it just passed midnight i guess there's not really a whole lot more for me to uh to show you so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut the camera here if something crazy happens i'm gonna actually keep the recording going uh, but i'll probably edit the rest of the night out unless something crazy happens okay so hopefully i'll see you in the morning and we won't have anything crazy happen. Okay, so I'll be back uh, in the morning, hopefully. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. It is uh, almost morning, and we're still alive. Okay, so, yeah, we, uh, for the most part, you know, we did pretty good here. Um, so here's what my plan is. I've still got that stack of blocks there, and I've kind of tried to stay away from it so the disease don't go over and break it down. So what we're going to do is we're going to get all stamina up, and I'm going to pop back a beer, too. And then we're going to, as quickly as possible, elevator down that, uh, you know, that nerd pole there. And then over here, they punched a hole uh, right there. And so we're going to we're gonna go down the nerd pole. We're going to quickly run around the building and hop out there and then, you know, run off into the woods. And, you know, hopefully we can, we'll be able to get away from it. Uh, that's the plan, because there's not really any other viable plan that I could think of to get off this roof. If I try and, you know, set frames down on the wall and, and stair step down, they're just going to bust through and, and get to me. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Okay. Um, so, let's see. We want to make sure we are not encumbered, so we're going to have to leave a couple of things here. What do we not have to take back with us right now? Um... In the age-old question. Okay, we don't need two dukes. We just don't need two dukes. And we just need to get rid of one more thing. Let's get rid of this stone axe. Okay? And then we want to put... Let's put the shotgun down here. 
We don't need the flashlight now, so we're going to put these spikes down here. And I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, so let's review. <laughs> let's review. Actually, you know what? Before we go barreling off the side, did they happen to break... Oh, okay. Here, let's look at this real quick. Okay, so they did. They broke through right there. So that means we could just kind of come around the corner and pop out that way rather than, you know, just saves us a second or two of having to stay inside this compound with all those zombies around. So I don't see... I don't see anybody wandering around out there. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to nerd pull down, run around here, jump out there, and skedaddle out into the woods. That's the plan. Um, I'm just trying to see if there's any other openings they might have made over here that's even closer. I don't see anything. Okay, so let's draw them all over here. Okay, uh, we're going to eat a sham so we get our stamina cap all the way back to max. We're going to drink a red tea. <clears throat> and let's just scrap this. And we're going to put the spikes on our toolbar. Make sure that our shotgun is fully loaded. We've got seven bullets in here. Make sure that's loaded. We can try and, you know, whack them with this too. Uh, all right, I think we're, we're about ready to do this. So let's throw back a beer. And let's go. We don't want to go down too fast because, um, <clears throat> you know, we, we could actually take damage if you nerd pulled down too quickly. All right, well, let's just make a wide arc here. I think we're, I think we're okay. A little hard to see because the beer made the screen all blurry. Whew, Okay. Well, guys, we survived. We survived the horde night. That was nuts. Oh, <clears throat> I mean, what was nuts? Oh, is what <laughs> what happened leading up to it. The actual horde night itself was relatively uneventful. It was. I was a little bit on edge the whole night, though, because you know, I mean, they could have taken that building down. It's not really a very big building. We'll go back there later after everybody clears out and you know, take a look at it and just see what the damage is and you know, assess where that's at. All right, well, whew, we made it through Horde Night. Okay, so let's see. I'm I need to decide now what our priorities are going to be. Got an Edgar over there. We've got um, we've got a quest to do, and we have a treasure map to do as well. So, <clears throat> and we have two airdrops that we still have to find. I'm thinking the one that we marked. Um, over this way. Well, they're both kind of in the same direction. This one's probably going to be a little bit easier for us to find. I don't want to go after it right now, though, because we're, we are got too much stuff in our inventory. So we're going to head back. Ooh, look at that. We're going to head back to the base. And um, I don't have my crossbow with me. Oh, I do have my crossbow with me. Um, yeah. We're going to head back to the base and, you know, off offload a few things. Uh, we've got a lot of work that needs to be done on the base, too. So... Some of that I'll just do off camera. Let's, let's make sure we can get a good headshot off on this guy so we only have to shoot it once. Um, yeah, so some of that I'll do off camera, but yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll go after, see if we can find the airdrops. Oh, come on. Turned his head. And uh, do those buried supplies and, you know, maybe keep working on some quests. For the trader, because that's always worthwhile in the early game here. Jeez Louise, every time I pull the trigger, he turns his head. Uh, hold still, Mr. Deer. I can't believe this. This is terrible. It's the aiming's kind of like locked in place. Oh, I guess it's supposed to do that. I don't really like that. I wish it would release the aim when I release the button. There we go. 
Well, that took four crossbow bolts to do. But we did it. That's the important thing. More meat for us, eh? And bones and hide and all that. Okay. So let's uh, put this here. We might take a point in Huntsman at some point later on, but I don't think that's the highest priority right now. We've really actually done quite well, uh, you know, in terms of food and water so far in this playthrough. So, uh, yeah, we're doing good, good in that respect. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to go back to the base, drop all this stuff off, and then, uh, you know, kind of kind of try and come up with a plan of action. And then uh, I might do a little bit of work on the base off camera, too. And then I'll bring you guys back. We'll go after the airdrop in the buried treasure and do the uh, the quest from the trader. That's, I think that's what's coming up next, okay? So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you uh, liked the video, hit that thumbs up button to subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment and share out the video. Those things do help the channel, and I do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.